in Columbus, Ohio, where we're at for this college football matchup. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're all a little bit anxious for this game to get underway because we really anticipate one intense football game. It's still early in the season, but these teams have been playing with such fire that you'd think it was near the end of the year. The Golden Flashes have a more talented core of players. What do you think, Lee? Well, I agree with you, Brad. Ohio State is going to have to play a flawless game on offense if they expect to win this ball game. I don't think they got a chance. Kirk, I don't see them moving the ball much against this superior defense. Well, they're good, Lee, but they're not that good. Kent State will try to get the ball as much as possible to their star wide receiver. This guy is a tremendous football player. He knows just what to do with the ball when he gets his hands on it. If they could get him the ball 20 times a game, I think they'd win, hands down. But Brad, he probably won't even get the ball half as many times as that. And I don't think they have anyone else to step up. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. Ohio State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Number 23 kicks it off. Foster fields it in the end zone. It's first and ten. The golden flashes go with the eye formation. Number two with a takedown at the 44-yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, that was great blocking Brad up front by the offensive line to open up that hole. Ball on the 44. First and ten. Kent State lines up in the ace set. Number 16 steps back to pass. Heaves a long one down the middle. Number 36 makes a catch. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. Ball on the 35-yard line. Mason all over the backfield. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Nothing gained on the play. Second and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. Ohio State lines up defensively at a 3-4. Play action. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. Six-yard setback. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Now he's scrambling. He's going long. He's hit and got away. First down. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. and 10. Ball on the 16. Mason lines up in the deep back. I formation. The lateral. Tackle at the five-yard line. He had a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they could slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I can run through those holes. They put everyone up on the line. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Complete. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. He had to stretch to get that pass. He's going to pull a muscle if he has to do that again. They're crowding the line. 
Jets. Touchdown. He was not going to be denied on that one, guys. You're right, Brad. He saw the goal line. He just plowed ahead until he crossed it. And he tacks on the extra point. Kent State ready to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. It's first and ten. Ohio State comes out with an eye formation. And they make the stop at the 29. A nice pickup of about eight yards. It's second down and one to go. Ball on their own 29. Kent State comes out in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. He passes it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. What happened there, Kirk? Well, as a quarterback, you usually want to put the ball in front of the receiver so he can catch it in stride. Here he just put it a little bit too far in front. Ball in the 29. The golden flashes come out in a 4-3. He's got the first tackle at the 32. Good pickup on third down there, and that's going to keep the drive alive. First and 10, and do it again, my friend. Ball on their own 32. First and 10. The Buckeyes line up in an eye formation. On the option. A little shake and bake move, and now he pitches it. Ball on their own 44. Ohio State sets up in the eye. Lacey on the option. Young brings him down at the 36-yard line. He carried for a nice gain before they could wrestle him down. Brad, if he keeps running like that, he'll get his number called again and again and again. Ball on the 36. It's first and 10. Nickel defense. He jukes. And they got him for a loss. Couldn't get anything out of that. This is the seventh play of this drive. Ohio State lines up in the ace set. Mosling with a takedown at the 36-yard line. They got him tied up, and he couldn't get anywhere. Brad, I love how that defense attacked this run. Ball on the 36. It's third down and 10. Kent State brings in their nickel package, drops to throw, rifles it right side, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. Back to pass. He unloads it. Incomplete pass. Man, he had to get rid of that ball in a hurry. You know, it seems like he's allowing the defense right now to control him by throwing bad passes under pressure. What he needs to do is make some plays and start controlling the defense instead. 
The golden flashes use a four-man front here. They'll bring him down at the 16. They gained five yards there. Ball on the 16, third and four. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. He rifles it to the left. Touchdown, Buckeye. And that one looked just like they drawn up, sir. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. State to kick. Number 23 kicks it off. Huff fields it in the end zone. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. Ball on the 15-yard line, first and 10. Defense lines up in a 4-3. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through, or what? Ball on their own 30. Kent State sets up in the eye. There's a play fake. He scrambles, lets it fly, and it's caught. Number two brings him down at the 49-yard line. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. Right around midfield. Ohio State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 37 with a takedown at the 45-yard line. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. A second down and three to go. The Buckeyes line up in a 4-3. Back to throw. Throws it out there. Foster hangs on to it. Number 37 brings him down at the 11. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. Ball on the 11-yard line. The golden flashes line up in a goal line formation. And down he goes at the nine. And they pick up two yards. Ohio State goes out in a 4-3. Back to pass. He passes it. Complete touchdown. Golden flashes. Coach, how about that play? Yo, was that a sensational pass or what? <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. Kent State to kick this one off. Number 11 and number 82 back to return. Stuckey kicks it off. Number 11 fields it in the end zone. It 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 21. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. They'll run the option. Now he pitches it. Mayer with a takedown at the 29-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Ball on their own 29. Second and one coming up here. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number six tackles him for a loss on the play. Drop back a yard. Ball on their own 27. We've got third and three here. Kent State lines up defensively. 4-3. And he's stopped behind the line. Nothing gained on the play. their own 26. It's fourth down. Four yards to go. Foster awaiting the return. <laughs> Number 21 gets it off. Foster fields it to 35. Number 46 brings him down at the 41-yard line. Not a whole lot on the return. Well, I look at it this way. He didn't fumble, and he didn't lose yardage. What more could you ask for? It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. The golden flashes come out of the ace formation. They'll bring him down at the 50. He carried for a nice game before they could wrestle him down. Brad, if he keeps running like that, he'll get his number called again and again and again. It's second and inches. Ace backfield. Play action. He unloads it. And it falls incomplete. I thought he had that one, guys. Yeah, that guy will make that catch nine out of ten times, I guarantee. Ball on the 50. It's third and inches. They put everyone up on the line. They're blitzing. First down, and they make the stop at the 46. About four yards on that play. on the 46-yard line. It's first and 10. Kent State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Back to throw. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. Eight yards back on the play. Ball on their own 47. It's second down and a long ways to go. Mason lines up as a single back. Number 16 drops back to pass. And they couldn't hook up on that one. It looks like he overthrew him on that one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Uh, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. Passing situation here on third and long. The golden flashes come out of the ace formation. Steps back to pass. Guns it across the middle, and it's caught, and they finally make the stop at the 27-yard line. Well, they avoided the turnover right there. Yikes, that was a close one. A good thing that kid was paying attention and fell on the football. First and ten. Four-man front by the defense. There's a play fake. He lets it go deep down the middle. Number 37, that's it down. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Ball on the 30-yard line. So it's second and 10. 
Kent State lines up in a pro set. Number 16 drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Incomplete. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of it in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. Third down and 10 coming up. Ace backfield, number 16, back to throw. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. They put the pressure on, and it paid off. Well, his protection just simply broke down, and if that continues, this quarterback's going to have a long day. Timeout called by the offense. Fourth and a bunch coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. They'll line up for the kick, and this is going to be extremely long. The kick is up. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our Start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Stuckey kicks it off. That was some kick. Yo, does that guy have a leg or what? Ball on the 21. Kent State brings in the nickel here. They'll run the option. Little shake and bake move. They got him tied up, but he couldn't get anywhere. Brad, I love how that defense attacked this run. A second down and seven to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number five lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Still has it. He passes it. Mayer knocks it away. He broke that one up nicely. You know, that's just what happens when the ball is just out of reach for an interception. It gets tipped. Third down and seven. Number five is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to throw. He scrambled, fires across the middle, and it's incomplete. Kirby just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. Fourth and seven, ball on the 23. Foster, back to return it. He punts it. Foster fields it at the 35. It's first and ten. The Buckeyes put four men up front. Number six brings him down for a loss. Loss of about two. Ball on their own 31. They come out at a nickel. Drop back to pass. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Mason alone in the backfield. Drops to throw. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of seven. It's fourth down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 19. Number 82, the return man. Stuckey gets it off. Number 82 fields it at the 30. Number 42 with a takedown at the 42-yard line. 
Oh, that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple things. Some good blocks, but also the ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. Ball on their own 42. First and 10. Kent State lines up defensively in a 4-3. Durham brings him down at the 41. He got a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they can slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. Ball on the 41-yard line. First and ten. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Number nine. Has it. Hey, what a great catch. Yeah, he was aware of where the sideline was and made sure he stayed inbounds when he caught the ball. Ball on the 19. It's first and 10. The Buckeyes line up in the power eye formation. They blitz it. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. And the defense was ready for that play. Boy, you better believe it. That play didn't have a chance. Ball on the 18. Ohio State comes out with an eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 16. They got him tied up and he couldn't get anywhere. Brad, I love how that defense attacked this run. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Golden Flashes use a four-man front here. There's a play fake. He gets rid of this one. Fourth down and six. Ball on the 16-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up. And it is good. State ready to kick this one off. Number 23 kicks it off. Huff fields it at the two. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Buckeyes with four men up front. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. A gain of nine yards on the play. Ball on the 29-yard line. Mason lines up as a single back. Back to pass. Let's it go. Complete. Number two with a takedown at the 39-yard line. A 10-yard gain. Ball on their own 39. It's first and 10. Ace backfield. Back to throw. Fires a bullet over the middle, and it's caught, and he's tackled at the 47. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas, I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 47. The Buckeyes line up in a 4-3. Number 93 brings him down at the 48-yard line. Oh, Coach, he picked up a few yards on that one. Brad, tough running by this kid. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Golden Flashes come out with split backs. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. The left play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stopped it. Ball on the 48, second and nine. Mason lines up in a deep back, eye formation. Drops back to pass. Fires deep down the left side. 
tipped away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third and nine. Ace backfield, drops to throw. He throws it. And it falls incomplete. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Ball on the 48. It's fourth down, nine yards to go. Number 82, back deep to return. He gets it away. Ball on the 21-yard line. Ohio State sets up in the eye. Drops back. Lacey is going to be sacked for a loss. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Kent 14, Ohio State 10. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. Ball on the 15. Number five is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Drops back to pass. He's on the run. This one's thrown deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. Ball on their own 15. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Number 12 with a catch. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Ball on their own 21. It's fourth down. Nine yards to go. Foster awaiting the return. Number 21 gets it off. Foster fields it at the 39. Ball on the 38. The Buckeyes put four men up front. Can't wrap him up. And they push him out at the 49-yard line. He had a really nice gain on that run. Brad, I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box lead. Maybe they could slow down this running game. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. The Buckeyes use a four-man front here. And he's tackled at the 41. They had a tough time bringing him down. Well, he's running really hard right now, Brad, but how about the offensive line? They have their heads on a swivel, and they're looking to knock anyone down their path. Second and one. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Roberson with a takedown at the 39-yard line. They get a yard on the play. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ohio State lines up defensively in a 3-4. There's the play fake. Number 16 is going to be sacked for a loss. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Hey, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Fourth and five coming up here. Ball on the 44. Number 82, back to return it. Stuckey gets it off. Ball on their own 21. First and 10. Kent State lines up with five defensive backs. Him down at the 31-yard line. 
They'll grab 10 yards there. It's first and 10. Four three defense. He spins around. Mosley with a takedown at the 34. They'll get two on that one. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 34. Ohio State going with the power eye. Running the option. Brought down at the 32. That'll be a loss of one. Third and eight. Ball on the 32. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Steps back to pass. He's looking for his man. Number five makes the catch. Mosling brings him down at the 39. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Ball on the 39. Fourth and one coming up. Foster, the return man. Number 21 gets it off. Foster takes it at the 23. First and 10. The golden flashes come out in the ace formation. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Pro formation here. Number 16 drops to throw. Let's it go. He's got the first, and they make the stop at the 43. Ball on the 43. The Buckeyes line up with a three-man front. Pitches back. Tackle at the 44. Ball on the 44-yard line. It's first and 10. Kent State sets up in the eye. Number 16. Options out. Number six with a takedown at the 37-yard line. They had a tough time bringing him down. Well, he's running really hard right now, Brad, but how about the offensive line? They have their heads on a swivel, and they're looking to knock anyone down in their path. Second and two, ball on the 37. They line up in the jumbo set. Roberson brings him down at the 34-yard line. Timeout called by the defense. Third down and short. Ball on the 34-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. So they get just enough to move the sticks. Brad, they didn't get much, but I'm sure they'll be happy to see that nice little one on the down marker instead of that big, ugly four. Ball on the 34. The Buckeyes use a four-man front here.
makes the score. Kent 14, Ohio State 10. And that's the end of the ball game. Girk, what'd you think of this one? Oh, this was a great football game, and these kids will remember this game for a long time. Ohio State played a great game out there, but I think they were a little bit outmanned. They're a good team, though. They'll bounce back from this. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2002. And our final score in this one, Kent 14, Ohio State 10. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.